I want to discuss extended period simulation EPS uh, runs and setting up these sort of problems and uh, here we look at example 4 which is uh, MEX 4 in the user's manual and in the data file that we provide under the data subdirectory. Uh, this problem we're feeding from a reservoir through a pump and we're feeding from a reservoir through two pumps one is a low service level, the other is a high service level. We have three elevated tanks. Now once you've set up a regular simulation, it's very easy to set up an extended period simulation. Uh, we need four types of data. There's system data and under system data, EPS data. And this is the sort of data we, requ we require. We're doing a 24-hour simulation at two-hour increments. Uh, we could put in a power cost and do a power cost calculation. Uh, second type of data we need is tank data. For each of these tanks then uh, we have some data. Uh, we have the minimum level, the maximum level, the initial level, and we also have data on the uh, characteristics of the tank. This is a 60 foot diameter tank. Uh, we have demand pattern data which we can see under setups and defaults. Uh, we have type 1 demands and the uh, factors here show how the demand varies. Uh, over the period of time. We're looking here at 10 hour, 11 hour, 12 hours, or 16 hours in two hour increments. The final type of data we have is control switch data for an EPS. And this example illustrates all types. Here we have a control switch that will turn this pump off and this pump on when the pressure down in this region drops below a certain value. That's set up under other data under control switches and this shows the setup. It's a logical text setup and makes it quite easy to use it. Uh, so those are the four types of data. We run the analysis and we can look at certain types of results. For example, I'll go in here and select a node and this shows the results. Uh, we can look at tables and the report of course will show uh, the results as you go hour by hour. So here we are uh, at 12 hours looking at different results. And we can look at the response at, at certain uh, nodes for the pressure. Look at this in full screen. Uh, we can look at several pressures. These indicate, of course, that the, there's been a switch and a pump has either come on or gone, gone off. So uh, the extended period simulations offer you a very powerful tool to uh, uh, carry out studies of tanks and, and uh, pumping costs and uh, situations like that. Uh, under the help, there's a discussion of extended period simulations. We have two more audio videos that give you examples of setting up extended period simulations.